first uh, folks to go in on Omaha Beach? No. The Rangers, instead of having a special force, they called them Rangers then. And they went in first. And I remember talking to a, a one, one uh, myth as we were going in. He says, uh, Sarge says, it's hell. I said, what you talking about? He says, I'm the only one left out of my company. He says, it's 187. Well, that really shook me up. Of course, I didn't let him know. I just said, that's all right. We'll take care of him. Just let us get in there. He says, yeah, but we were special team. I said, that's all right. We are too. But, uh, so now you had your same, you had your Captain Greer and uh, this. Uh, me and same man. Y'all were all on that one landing craft. They was, no, one of the platoons couldn't get on there, the weapons platoon. There's three platoons, first, second, third, and then the fourth platoon with the mortars couldn't get on. So they put them on another? Yeah, on another ship, landing craft. So did you get seasick uh, going on? Oh, you didn't have time. Was the water rough or? Pretty it rough, rough, but uh, this, knowing what you was fixing to do, you didn't have time to get seasick. That was the least of your work. <laughs> Were you in your Jeep? Was your Jeep right over there? It was on the same ship I was. I know when we got to Omaha Beach in France, the water was eight and ten foot deep. Big way. No, at the end of that landing craft. Uh -huh. And the captain or whoever pilot that was running that thing called out over the loudspeaker that the water was anywhere from eight to 15 foot deep right at the end of that night. Well, how could you get off of it if the water was that deep? Well, we had, uh, <laughs> we had these Jeeps waterproof and had the exhaust running up 8 or 10 foot above the top of the Jeep. And it was stationary with a piece of pipe. And when you come off, we just pulled the throttle out and let it go out there and just stand in the seat of it and you'd go clean out of sight. And the Jeep would hit the bottom and it'd just keep going, see? And directly you would come out and shake yourself, see that you could breathe. But your rifle got wet, didn't it? That didn't matter. We shot them suckers and cleaned them out and dried them off. Well, when you got out on the beach, you drove out on the beach there, uh, then what did you do? Got out there and tried to find a company. Did you Get find together the company? where we could start fighting, huh? Did you find the company? Yeah. You were out on the, was the beach sandy? Yeah, but they was equipment tore up, bodies laying everywhere. The water just before before you got into the the beach was just bloody. There's so many got killed in the blood run that it started being white looking, it was bloody. And I guess if anything ever come here about making me sick that day because I realized what had happened. My driver said to me, I said, Walter, can you see that one? He says, yeah. He says, I ain't blind. I says, you know what the color is? And he says, yes. Looks like blood red. I says, it is. I says, that is blood. And it's from American soldiers. Just died in front of us. Well now, when you got on the beach, were the Germans still shooting at you? Yeah, or? They were, we were fighting. Of course, it was 
Uh, the Germans was a half a mile in when I hit the beach. And then we got in, we started to try to push them. We did push them back. We started pushing them on back. So. Now, what time of the day was it when you got on in uh, half a mile or so? Was it uh, over in the afternoon? Well, no, the day that we first we went in there, we didn't even get to land until the next morning. Because there wasn't room to get on the beach. They had to go and get bulldozers and bring them in there on landing craft to get out there and bulldoze jeeps and bodies and what have you before we could land. They'd take them bodies out there, Jim, and just stack them, just dig a trench out there. Back day, you seen these farmers do making a silo, you put silage in. That's the way they buried them over there. They'd pull the dog tags off of them and give them to the, the right one, and they'd just stack them in there, just like uh, cord wood. And then they'd take them soldiers to cover them up. They'd wrap them in a blanket. So uh, once you got onto the beach, uh, uh, how long did it take you to uh, push on out about a half a mile or so to meet the Germans? It, it, uh, well, my company was in front of me, and I stayed behind because I was bringing the ammunition and stuff like that, and I still had D bars, K rations, C rations, uh, and I went along behind the company. So if somebody wanted that water or what have you, they know the jeep was back there. 